everyone, I'm Armin Gomez and welcome to the summer 2018 edition of Backdrop Palmdale. We're here at one of Palmdale's hidden gems, the Joe Davies Heritage Air Park. And this summer they'll be introducing some cool new events for visitors to the park. In fact, we'll have all the exciting activities throughout the city on this episode. But first, let's kick things off with the City News Report with John Milner. Thanks, Armin. Summer is heating up, and a great way to cool down is at the Palmdale City Library. They'll be hosting a wide variety of fun and educational activities for the whole family while school is out. The Palmdale City Library is the place to be, especially during the summer months. In addition to the popular summer reading program, there are free movies, activities, and clubs going on at any time of the week. There are midweek movies every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m., and the summer movie series every Friday at 1 p.m. Admission and popcorn are free. Children can also enjoy special summertime story times for preschool, toddlers, and bilingual audiences. For more information on the Palmdale City Library, visit their website at www.cityofpalmdale.org forward slash library or follow them on Facebook at Palmdale City Library. The city hosts its annual Flag Day ceremony at Joe Davies Heritage Air Park, which was a fitting backdrop to the patriotic spirit displayed by those in attendance. It was a beautiful day to honor the Stars and Stripes as the community gathered at Joe Davies Heritage Air Park at Palmdale Plant 42 for the annual Flag Day celebration. Winners of the Flag Day essay contest were announced and festivities included complimentary refreshments and guided tours of the air park. Summer means vacation fun, but it also means soaring temperatures here in the valley. Here's Kerry German with your Palmdale Public Safety News, including some tips on how to stay safe during the summer months. Hi Palmdale, it's Carrie. Wanted to let you know about all the things that we have going on this summer. Most of all, our biggest thing is National Night Out. So come on out to Dominic Masari Park on Tuesday, July 31st, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. for food, music. Um, we're going to have the fire department, the sheriff's department, animal care and control, our recreation and culture. Uh, everybody's going to be out there. You're going to be able to climb the rock wall as long as the wind doesn't prevent us from having the rock wall again. Uh, you want to dunk a deputy? Uh, you're going to have the opportunity for that. Uh, we're going to have food trucks out there, ice cream trucks, and uh, Hometown Buffet is coming out with free cotton candy and popcorn. Uh, so we hope you'll be out there, check out all of the displays that we have going and, and everything that there is to do for kids and adults. We all know that it's really hot outside. Inside your car, with the windows rolled up, parked in a parking lot, even worse, it takes just a matter of minutes for the inside temperature of a car to reach well over 100 degrees. So please do not take your, your, uh, your dogs out with you when you're going grocery shopping or doing what have you. Please be very, very cognizant of children in the car. Uh, you know, we sometimes run inside to a convenience store or something like that. It's just a matter of minutes for, for a, a child or an animal to suffer heat stroke. So again, leave your pets at home. There's no need for them to be going out with you. Another thing to consider with your pets when it's very hot out when you're taking your dogs for a walk, if you take the back of your hand and you put it on that concrete or that asphalt, if it's too hot for you, it's gonna be too hot for them. So please Please do not walk your dogs uh, during the, the, the peak uh, heat hours. Try to do it in the morning or late at night when the sun has gone down to protect their paws. Uh, again, if it's too hot for you, it's too hot for them. Summer's here, that means we're hanging out in the pool, we're going to the lake, we're around water a lot. Uh, check out our Facebook page, the Palmdale Crime Prevention, for a bunch of information that we have on boating safety, what kind of uh, life preservers should you have, life jackets you should have if you're going out on a boat, uh, pool safety, uh, when it comes to you know monitoring children and, and the proper gates to have around your pool. Uh, we have barbecue stuff. How close is your grill to the house? Is, is it far enough away? Are you gonna catch your house on fire when you're, when you're grilling up those kebabs. So a lot of great information on our Palmdale Crime Prevention page. Uh, so please come and check us out on Facebook. For more information on public safety programs such as Neighborhood Watch, Business Watch, and Park Watch, contact the Neighborhood Services Department at 661-267-5126. It wouldn't be a summer without 4th of July celebrations, so please be aware of the use of safe and sane fireworks in Palmdale before, during, and after the holiday. With the fire season in full swing, 
it is imperative that residents join in the effort to combat illegal fireworks and keep our community safe. You can visit the city's website at www.cityofpalmdale.org for more information on fireworks safety. There are many ways to stay connected and receive updated information on city news. You can like our Facebook page at City of Palmdale Government, follow us on Twitter at Palmdale City, visit our website at www.cityofpalmdale.org, or call us at 661-267-5115. Back to you, Armin. Thanks, John. School's out, but that doesn't mean that kids miss out on a daily nutritional meal. Thanks to the summer lunch program, an appetite for healthy food and a healthy education is more than satisfied. Once again, the city is partnering with the Palmdale School District to host a summer lunch program at various sites in June and July. The program provides healthy and nutritious lunches during the summer school hiatus and is open to youth up to age 17. The sites will also provide enrichment and recreation activities. The great thing about this program is it's open to everybody. Any child from 0 to 18 can come and get a meal. It has to be consumed on site, but there's no eligibility, there's no income requirements. It's really a community-wide event that can benefit everybody. And last summer we served over 20,000 meals to students during the June and July months. For a complete list of lunch sites, hours, and activity calendars, please visit cityofpalmdale.org backslash engaged. When we return, we'll have the latest in environmental and recreation news right after this quick break. My daughter, I want to be an agricultural scientist because I like finding out new things and helping other people. I want to be a police officer. I just want to be a model. I want to be an FBI agent because I get to save many lives. I want to play basketball. Author, filmmaker. We need to give these children a chance to succeed. I know, I was a foster child. Be a foster or adoptive parent. Share your heart, share your home. You put in an honest day's work and you deserve fair pay. Did you know the minimum wage has increased in unincorporated areas of Los Angeles County? If you are not being paid the minimum wage, you can report it. Your employer is prohibited from retaliating against you. For more information or to file a claim, contact the LA County Department of Consumer and Business Affairs at 800-593-8222 or visit our website at dcba.lacounty.gov. Welcome back to Backdrop Palmdale. There are ways to keep our parks like these and our homes clean and litter free with minimal damage to the environment. Here's Micah Schuler with more. Thank you, Armin. I'm here in front of Legacy Commons where Waste Management just provided a presentation and overview of all the new services they'll be offering on July 1st when the new franchise agreement goes into effect. But before we get to that, I'm excited to announce the city's latest project that helps reduce our carbon footprint with the addition of six dual charging stations at the Palmdale Transportation Center. Through the Edison's Charge Ready pilot program created to deploy electric infrastructure to serve the electric needs in Edison's service area, the city was approved to receive funding to cover the cost of infrastructure and a rebate on the cost of the charging units. In addition, the city also received grant funding from the Antelope Valley Air Quality Management District for this project to cover portions of the cost. The units operate through EV Connect and are accessible to the general public by downloading the app on their smartphones to connect and pay to charge their vehicles. The cost is $1 an hour for a maximum of $4. The Palmdale Transportation Center has added added six dual electric vehicle charging stations. This means that 12 electric vehicles can charge at one time. If you're interested in purchasing or leasing a new electric vehicle, the Antelope Valley Air Quality Management District still has incentive rebates available. Just visit avaqmd.ca.gov backslash grants and you'll find it under the alternative fuel vehicle program. With summer here, now's a perfect time to take a trip to the beach in your electric vehicle while being environmentally friendly. 
The city and waste management work together to update the waste franchise agreement to make it easier for residents and businesses to do their part. Effective July 1st, you'll find new services and options available to you to make it easier. So I'm here with Ashley Cortez with Waste Management and you've just finished a great presentation and I'm really excited about some of the new services that are going to be coming online uh, in July. So with all those uh, new changes, can you tell me a little bit about um, or tell everyone here a little bit about what can be recycled specifically and what needs to go in the trash can now. Right. So just so to give you a little bit of background real quick is that we're China, the, the main importer of our recyclables that takes all our material, they're actually putting a 0.5 contamination rate onto our recycles, meaning that all the recyclables they receive, they have to be pretty much clean. Uh, fully clean. So going forward, you know, we really need to get back to the basics right now in Palmdale. We're at about a 25% contamination rate. So we have to go from that to 0.5%. So, you know, we need your help, um, the community's involvement on this to get back to the basics where it's clean material. So keep food and liquids out of the recycling container, keep plastic bags out of the recycling container. You know, a, a lot of people bag their recyclables. So just make sure, you know, when you do bag them up that you're taking them, emptying that bag out and then putting it back into your bin and then starting the process all over. Don't put those in there. They tangle up our machines and slow down the recycling process. Um, also styrofoam is a big one that people still get confused about. So right. keep those out. Um, any greasy pizza boxes, that's like a big thing I say because a lot of people don't know that. They think, oh, cardboard, but actually any food contaminated material can't be utilized. So, you know, we just want to get back to, to following those basic rules because if we, you know, you're spending all that time recycling the material in, in one little soda can that had soda in it or Gatorade, you know, is, is contaminating that whole load. So just get back to the basics and, and spread that word so that we recycling doesn't have an end and we can keep recycling. It's such a big part of the environment and creating a clean community. And so we want to we want to keep that. So everyone needs to do their part. Effective July 1st, our new agreement will go into effect and a lot of great services and options have been added. Don't forget, the My Waste app can be downloaded for your iPhone or Android, which will allow you to keep track of not only trash, recycling, and green waste collection days, but also street sweeping days. Holiday notifications can also be sent via the app. If you're not sure what or where to recycle, the app can provide this helpful information as well. Hopefully, with our efforts and what we've learned, we can all make our city clean and green. I hope you've enjoyed our Public Works updates. Back to you, Armin. Thanks, Micah. One of the newest events here at the Air Park is their Twilight Tours. On select Thursdays through the summer, the Air Park will be open from 4.30 to 9.30 p.m. with guided tours provided at 6, 7, and 8 p.m. Picnic tables and barbecues will be available on a first-come, first-served basis, and admission and parking is free. Twilight Tours will be held June 21st, July 19th, and August 16th. Even if you can't make it out to these special evenings, you can still bring family and friends to this unique destination and appreciate Palmdale's rich aerospace heritage, including the 21 retired military aircraft on display during regular visiting hours. Just visit cityofpalmdale.org forward slash air park for more info. Of course, the air park is one of many spots throughout the city where you can enjoy your summer. There's plenty to do both indoors and outdoors in Palmdale this summer. Music in the Park kicks off every Thursday, alternating between Ponsetlawn Square and Dominic Masari Park. For a complete schedule of food trucks and entertainers, visit cityofpalmdale.org. The always popular Family Movie Nights at the Palmdale Amp begins July 6th with The Lion King and continues with Despicable Me 3 on July 13, The Little Mermaid on August 3rd, and Coco on August 10th. There will be free family activities before each movie from 6 to 8 p.m. And moviegoers are encouraged to not only bring blankets and lawn chairs, but come dressed as your favorite character too. The summer concert series opens with a bang as Palmdale's inaugural Freedom Celebration and Fireworks show comes to the Palmdale Amp on Saturday, June 30th. The Lao Tizer Band performs on July 14th, Brett Michaels rocks the house on July 21st, and Metalucci brings their entertaining hybrid metal and mariachi music to the stage August 11th. Also, stay tuned for an exciting surprise concert announcement in the coming weeks. 
For all concert tickets and info, visit palmdaleamphitheater.com. The Palmdale Playhouse will be hosting its summer travelogue series, the summer theater camp presentations, as well as several workshops. Visit palmdaleplayhouse.com for more information. And be sure to check out the Generations Juried Art Exhibit later this summer. A free reception featuring live music and light refreshments will be held on August 24th at both the Palmdale Playhouse and Legacy Commons. There is a call for local artists of all ages to participate in this juried competition, with winners and prizes announced at the reception. Deadline to submit is August 6th, and applications can be found online at cityofpalmdale.org. Of course, it wouldn't be summer without Dry Town Water Park. In addition to Sundown at Dry Town, the park is introducing Splash Theater this season. Movies featured are The Secret Life of Pets on July 12th, Finding Nemo July 19th, and Finding Dory on July 26th. For tickets and info, visit drytownwaterpark.com. For more information on all city events and classes, you can check out the latest issue of the Palmdale News Activities and Entertainment Guide. Or you can always go online at cityofpalmdale.org. We'll be back with business news right after this quick break. This is Terry, Dave, and Randa, shameless story toppers. Today is the day that Dave wins their little game forever. See, Dave's been recycling his machine's used oil and filters lately. That may not sound impressive, but a single gallon of oil can befoul a million gallons of drinkable water. When you look at it that way, Dave's basically an environment-themed superhero. Be like Dave. Recycle your used oil and filters. Save the planet. Contact us for more information. While you're at it, I have a lot of trash that I need to get rid of, too. Um, you think you can handle that? Yeah, that'd be easy. Let's see, with the work, your extra trash, other cost, I would say it would cost this much. Really? That's about half of what the other guy told me. When can we start? We'll be here tomorrow. Just because you didn't dump it, it doesn't mean that you didn't dump it. Ensure that your trash is properly recycled or disposed of. Hi, you're watching the summer 2018 edition of Backdrop Palmdale. If you haven't already noticed, Palmdale businesses are booming. Let's go back to John Milner with the latest in economic development. Thanks, Armin. The red ribbon has been rolling throughout the city as businesses are opening left and right. La Michoacana has expanded on the east side with a new location at 47th Street East and Avenue R. Perfect timing for your summer treats. Let's take a look at more recent economic activity in the city. Antelope Valley residents Sean and Melissa Shaw were inspired to open Imagine City, a one-of-a-kind miniature city and play center encouraging kids to let their imaginations run wild. Located at 40125 10th Street West, Imagine City provides a safe, local, and affordable facility for children to learn and have fun. For more information, visit their website at www.imaginecity.com. Recently, Element Hotel on Train Center Drive held its official ribbon cutting ceremony. Olive's Mediterranean Restaurant opened next door to Chipotle and Dickie's Barbecue. And on the east side, Kraken Chicken and Waffles is serving up some soul food at 569 East Palmdale Boulevard. The city will also host its annual business appreciation breakfast this summer. The free event will be held at the Chimboli Cultural Center on August 22nd from 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. To RSVP, please call 661-267-5125. The Antelope Valley Mall continues to be the hot spot for shopping and dining, but it's also another great place to stay cool in the summer heat. We spoke with marketing director Trisha Granger for the latest news. Well, it's hot outside, but I'm here in the air-conditioned, temperature-controlled Antelope Valley Mall with Marketing Director Trisha Granger. How are you doing today, Trish? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm in one of the, my favorite places in the Antelope Valley, and I'm feeling great because it's hot out there, but I'm feeling great inside. Right. And I understand this summer, which it'll be hot outside, but the, a lot of activities for kids coming inside here, right? Yeah, you know, we have our monthly kids club, so we meet the second Wednesday of every month. Uh, this year it's new. We're meeting from 4.30 to 6.30. So we have uh, make and take crafts some months, and then we have entertainment some some months. So you just gotta check out our website and our Facebook. We have a reptile show. We've had a juggler. We've done uh, 
sand buckets, we're doing pencil boxes. We have just great stuff for the rest of the year and it's all free, That's which is great. You can bring your kids out. It's geared towards kids three to 11. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's enjoyable for them, but you can come out. It's totally free and have a great time. And a lot of times our friends at like Dog House or Minchies will throw in a little free something. Ooh, so, nice, you know, nice. you can't get, you can't go wrong with a free nope, Minchies no or can't. free dog from, from Dog House. No, you can't. So that's uh, great. And you say, what, what, uh, what days are these? That's the second Wednesday of every month okay. from 4.30 to 6.30 right here in the food court. So okay. you can come down and the kids can play, yeah, you know, in now. the play area. And like you said, it's a free either make and take craft or entertainment. So All right. lots of fun. And I don't want to push, but Christmas is coming, right? It How many is. more shopping days have you got? Oh, probably about 195, <laughs> I believe, the last check. All right. It is coming. You know what? It gets here so quick. I mean, I, I mean, but you know, we're excited. We'll be welcoming back our penguin band and a lot of great stuff. We're working on some really fun stuff for the holidays. And you know what? Also, just make sure you're checking out our website and our Facebook. We're doing tons of promotions all summer long, of, like free gift cards. So there's a lot of great stuff, um, free money. And you know, as we gear up, I know the kids don't want to hear it, but we're getting ready for back to school too. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, there's going to be some really great promotions. Uh, we'll be bringing back our backpack promotion, you know, buy some gift cards, get free money. So great way to stretch your dollar this summer. Awesome. Well, at the Elm Valley Mall this summer, you can keep cool, get something to eat, buy some great things, and for the kids, they can have a blast over here in the play area. For more information on economic development or any business opportunities in Palmdale, please call 661-267-5125. Back to you, Armin. Well, that will wrap it up for us here in the summer 2018 edition of Backdrop Palmdale. As always, for more information on any of the stories we featured on today's program, please visit our website at www.cityofpalmdale.org or call us at 661-267-5115. You can also follow us on all our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Armin Gomez, and we'll see you next time on Backdrop Palmdale.